My name is Linda Lee Jolly and I'm the director at the Troy Hainer Cultural Center. With me today is our program coordinator, Terry Lynn Meese, and our exhibit coordinator, Leona Sargent. Good morning. And this is The View from Hainer. Today is the second day of Hainer's Holiday Open House. We are so excited and having such a great time at Hainer. And so we invite you to come out from 1 to 5 this afternoon and enjoy it. It's our 39th annual open house, and it commemorates the first time that the Troy Hainer Cultural Center was open to the public in 1976. They, um, committee that changed the Hainer Cultural Center from the library to the beautiful building that we know at, as it is today, um, had everything ready for the first full weekend in December to invite people in to experience the Hainer as, the com as its new community cultural center. And as the people were heading up the sidewalk, I understand they were still wiping down the staircase and putting the last minute touches on it. And for their holiday decorations, they had one tree in the solarium. And <laughs> it's hard <laughs> and to imagine. Haven't we evolved? Because there are more than seven trees in the house. The mantles are decorated. It's just gorgeous. And uh, yesterday was Children's Day. Didn't we have fun? We sure did. Um, I always enjoy watching the kids with Santa and doing the crafts with their families and the puppet show. The puppet oh, show. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and that how popular that is yeah. and people Man, clamoring for tickets. And yeah. It's great. And that was great, but today is going to be a little bit more sedate. So, um, you know, children are still welcome to come with their families and see the house Absolutely. today, but it's going to be a different mood. The house is, you know, taken over by the decorations and the music that comes pouring out of the East Room. Yeah, so, so what today is, is um, it just starts at 1 o'clock, and, you know, when you open the doors, I just guarantee your breath will be you know, caught in your throat because it's just so stunning once again this year. Uh, and then throughout the house, there will be just lovely live music uh, playing, and that'll be piped throughout the house so that you can tour the house and, and see what they've done uh, and, and the beauty of this place, this mansion. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the musicians because these musicians that we have in the East Room all day long, these are local folks. And what we wanted to do was, was create a community day mm -hmm. for Troy to bring your families and, and, and start a tradition here at the Hainer. Um, the first group is the Troy Tones, and this is Troy's high, Troy High School's pop a cappella group. They are so fun, so much energy. Rachel Sagona directs this group. and. Um, it's just a great way to start the day off. And then at 1.30, we're going to have a staff party. There's so many musicians here at the <laughs> hangar. Uh, I'm sitting here with one of them. Oh. <laughs> and Lee is going to play her new dulcimer for I us. Am? Yeah, David Wine will be on the piano. Uh, Rachel Bosey will sing. And uh, we've even talked... Ron Flair and to bring in his mandolin. Right. So this is just going to be a kind of a collection and we have a very special um, guest uh, staff person, which <laughs> is Clint Myers. Um, and, from uh, Troy Community from Radio. Troy Community Radio. Yeah. We're so grateful to the radio station for giving us this opportunity to bring this show um, yeah. to the people of Troy Absolutely. and the area every month. And, uh, you know, we're getting used to seeing him. So we kind of adopted him, especially yeah. <laughs> when we found out that he could sing. It's going to be right. so much fun. So, Troy, you have to come out for that moment when Clint Meyer <laughs> will be singing uh, at our holiday open house Sunday. Uh, Serenity Strings is a harp duo. They'll be here at 245. Dulcy Days and Dawn. This is a hammered dulcimer guitar and auto harp group. Uh, they'll be here at 330. Then we have Paul Nelson and his wonderful cigar box guitars. He's actually going to play his cigar boxes and his beautiful woodland flutes. Then at 4.30, to close, will be Jimmy Allen and David Burkhart. This is going to be a holiday harmonica acoustic guitar duo. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. How wonderful to close the day that way. You know, we had, when we started having the musicians in the house for the Sunday of Open House, we were kind of just hoping to fill the house with music because you can hear it all over yeah. the house. And, and uh, to add some ambiance and some background, but the more we've done that, the more people have engaged with the musicians on this day and they they'll come in and sit down you know maybe for a half an hour maybe for the whole afternoon some, yeah, and some enjoy people. the musicians as, along with the decorations and the hot punch, hot punch. that hot punch just 
that smell just fills the air. So that's kind of another thing that, you know, Hainer's Open House is noted for. And Leona, the house is beautiful. Every year, you know, people come in, they say, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. How can they possibly top this? But every year, it right. just turns out yeah. beautiful again. Yeah, and we'd really like to thank our decorators for taking their time. You know, they come in, they spend at least a day, some of them more. The better part of a yeah, week. Yeah, yes. the better part of the week. Um, on our first floor, our decorators are uh, Mary Nilsson and Donna Quassar and Lisa Flair and David Fair from David Fair on the Square. He actually decorated this room. And it's beautiful. Yes. Oh, my and gosh. When you move upstairs onto the second floor, Three Weird Sisters has decorated our art gallery. Um, your Personal Florist, Lori from Your Personal Florist, did our parlor. And we've got a, a new couple of decorators in the conference room, and that's James Duty and Sheila Folks. And then we, as you go up the stairs, Rhonda Copeland and Jackie Boyd did the landing. And of course, we couldn't leave out the ballroom. Absolutely. <laughs> so Greg Rogers from the Frame Mill Gallery in West Milton has done a spectacular job in the ballroom. And we can't forget Don Flory, who does the um, our art studio. So pretty Along much with the homeschool kids. Right. The homeschool kids make part of the ornaments that go on the art studio. Right. Train, and it's really cute. Right. So pretty much every place you go, uh -huh. there's going to be a new decorator, a new tree. Now there was a theme. Every year there's a theme, and this year it was homemade Christmas. Right. A handmade. Handmade Christmas. Made Christmas. Yes, and yeah. it was a, it was actually a competition. Okay. Uh, folks brought in their um, handmade items, and they were judged. Some won prizes, and yeah, it's it's just it's lovely. And there are a variety of items on display. It's not just one medium, which is really really neat. I think to see. It's not just like ornaments. There's also no. little scenes that have been created. Mm -hmm. And right, beautiful right. quilts. Oh yeah. Yeah. The quilts yeah. are really nice things. Delight. Pictures. Nice oh, there's some paintings yes. that are just adorable. It, right. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, and the decorators have kind of picked up on that same kind of theme. Some of the rooms are very floral, and they might have added a little bit of hand made, made to it. But others ornaments, grabbed yes. that theme and ran with it in very unique and creative ways. So right. there's some surprises in the house this yeah, year. Yeah, there are. <laughs> It's a lot Which of fun. Good. And of course, yeah. you know, Hainer, um, while the levy that was just passed and we're so grateful for provides most of the funding for the Hainer Center, um, there's still a gap. And part of the way that we fill that gap is with sponsorships for particular right. activities and efforts. And we have three wonderful sponsors that help us put on this fantastic Christmas display every year. And that's UTC Aerospace, Minster Bank, and the Friends of Hainer. And we right. certainly appreciate the support that they have that makes this holiday season so much fun for all of us right yes. um and of course the decorations are going to be up through january 3rd and uh, people can check our website troyhainer.org to find out what our open hours are but then we're closed on the holidays of course christmas and new year's but the house is still open on christmas eve and New Year's Eve until noon. Because I know a yes, lot of people in the early. community bring their friends and family, guests that are, you know, visiting into the community and to see the Hainer. And of course, it's something that you just won't want to miss. But another time that's a really fun time to visit the Hainer in a special way and make it part of your Christmas festivities is on December 17th for our holiday concert. Isn't that right? Yeah, this is a, a 20 year, 20 plus year tradition. Uh, it's a Thursday night, it's a, so it's kind of a nice night to bring your family out and, and just share a little bit of that holiday. Great day to visit the Hainer and see the decorations if you haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. The group that we're going to have is called Oakwood Brass, which is just such a bright and shiny concert. <laughs> it's a great sound for yeah, the holidays. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this group was founded in 2001 by Eric Knorr. Uh, and what we have is Eric Knorr and Daniel Zeringer on trumpet. We have Jonas Toms on French horn, Alan Keller on trombone, and Tom Lukowitz on tuba. Now this, these are regional folks. These are our, some of these people live in Troy, um, and, and many, most of them don't live far. So this is a great um, community concert. 
Um, and I want to say a little bit about the group because these are really uh, wonderful musicians and they have a great resume. They perform regularly with the Cincinnati Symphony, Cincinnati Pop Orchestras, Dayton Philharmonic, Lexington Philharmonic, wow. Springfield and Lima oh Symphonies. Yeah. Yeah. Oakwood Brass members are also faculty. These, many of these people are faculty at Wright State University, University of Dayton, Central State University, Sinclair College. These are wonderful oh, musicians. Oh, they're going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be great. Yeah. Uh, they also have uh, many church-based concerts that they perform. You may have seen them around Dayton or Springfield. So it's going to be a fun concert. It should be yeah. fun. And also by coming in the evening to see the Hainer and uh, enjoy the music and the concert, you know, one of our decorating groups, Mary Nilsson and Donna, have expanded their decorating yeah, on out the into the courtyard. So, you know, that'll be fun to be able to have the opportunity to see the courtyard all lit up yeah. at, for Christmas yeah. at night. Yes. And then um, talking about music, you know, I didn't bring one to show off, but we still have... Hainer holiday CDs oh, yeah. and and you know I recommend that people if you don't have a Hainer holiday CD mm -hmm. get it early in the month so you can enjoy it through the whole season and that is a compilation of different people that have performed at the Hainer Center at different times um, a classic timeless carols that never go out of style and it's just fun to you know sing along with it and then and then you hear a voice you're like I know that person <laughs> yeah. it's, it is just a lot of fun so um, um, we're set. We yeah. are set for the holidays. Come out this afternoon from 1 to 5 or uh, come to the concert or just be sure that you get a visit in sometime during the month. I actually now, had that experience yesterday walking through the house listening to the music. I thought, that sounds like Rachel. Yeah. And that it sounds was. like Linda Lee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those may not be, well, Rachel would be a selling point. She has a beautiful voice. Yes. And, uh, of course, David has a piece on it. Mary Ann Mishler and Mary Blouser, um, for years, they have played the most wonderful um, piano duet of Sleigh Ride. And I am just so thrilled that we were able to capture that on that CD so that it can just live on forever. I'm, I just love the CD. Um, I don't want to rush the holidays, um, but plans are already in place for January, uh, starting with a film, I think. That's right. Um, this year's film seri series is once again, you know, the seasons is once again being a success. Our November film, we had over 50 folks attend. See, that's great. Yeah. And now this is a once a month film series except for December. Right. And the summer, we don't do it right. in the summer. We don't right. do it in the summer. It's um, October through April. Except for December. Okay. <laughs> and, um, yeah, January 8th is our next film at 7.30, and that'll be Top Gun, starring Tom Cruise. Okay. Right. And a great night out again, uh, right. free and open to the public, uh, free popcorn, free, free soft popcorn, drinks. Free popcorn, pop, yeah. yeah. And an introduction to the film. All right. So and a great, just yeah. a great time to come and enjoy the Hainer on a Friday evening. Um, and then, uh, then by the 15th of January, we'll be ready to have concerts again, right? Yeah. And I love this we one. Start, we start out every year with our Mountain Dulcimer Society of Dayton concert. And this is something we do in conjunction with this wonderful group. Uh, this year we're going to have Mark Allen Wade. And what they do, what the, what the Mountain Dulcimer Society does is they have a workshop that's in conjunction with this concert. And... I hope that you will check out, you know, TroyHainer.org, and we'll have a link there so that you can find out more information about this workshop because it's a wonderful thing they do. And, mm -hmm. you know, so special in this area to be able to go to a, a dulcimer workshop. So anyway, Mark Allen Wade, he is has his doctorate in music. Um, he actually is, claims to be the only professor in the United States who offers a major in dulcimer performance. Oh, wow. This is a dedicated yeah. Yeah. I should go there. <laughs> yes, you should. Yes, you should. Um, he uh, is a composer. He's a national hammered dulcimer champion. He's an active private teacher. Um, just just a wonderful musician. And, uh, and so anyway, this is going to be on Friday night, January the 15th, 7.30 p.m. It will be crowded. I hope that you come early and, and get your seat early mm -hmm. because it's it's just a very popular, wonderful concert. Right. And, and folks should remember that by then they should come prepared to see artwork from the kids in all the Troy the City Schools. Exhibit. Yes, yeah. the next exhibit will be up. 
it's the Young Masters exhibit, and it's it's a favorite. So it's okay to come early for the concert because there'll be plenty right. to see. Yes, right. there will be. Right. There there right. should be around seven hundred. Uh, Works, works on display, kids. yes, from and, floor to ceiling. And these are kids of all different ages. The, right. pa the pieces are selected by the instructors, they right? Yes. And uh, it's, it's considered just, an honor for the kids to have a piece in the, in the exhibit. Show, yeah. isn't it? I'm sure it is. You, you so should not come to good. this expecting to see juvenile no, works. No, not at all. You should come expecting to see creative brilliant ideas that come right. out of these young minds. I'm always so impressed. Right. We have such great teachers here, too. We, we do. do. Yeah. We do. We're really, really do. fortunate in Troy to have a good arts exhibit. education yeah. and music education. So right. we're, we're just thrilled to be able to um, uh, help promote that and to help encourage the children in their um, pursuit of creative endeavors. So that's right. a lot of fun. Well, we hope everyone will come out and um, make a visit to the Hainer Center, part of your holiday um, celebrations. Um, I want to wish you best wishes from the Hainer Board and the Hainer staff, and that is The View from Hainer.